It's hurting. It's still hurting. Right here in the pit of my stomach, it's like a rock. No. Like a boulder, sitting heavy in my gut, weighing me down heavier and heavier every day. When Miss Capolo told me that night when I came back home, as if it were just something she had heard when gossiping with the other foster moms at their meetings, she just shrugged me off, treating me like an afterthought. Like I was still that lost little five-year-old kid that showed a better door, lonely and afraid, abandoned and longing to be held in someone's arms. And she almost seemed to relish in the fact that she was the one that told me that Zeke and Adelaide weren't going to adopt me. That they... They didn't want me anymore. She waited for the tears to start rolling down my face, waiting for me to drown in that initial wave of sadness, devastation, loneliness, and abandonment. I realized I would still be trapped in the same house, the same street, the same neighborhood forever now. I couldn't feel anything physically, emotionally, I wanted to move, to shout, to cry, to fall down onto my knees, to just do something. But it's like my head was just too shocked to get a single thought out. So many thoughts swirling around my head, screaming at me, beating me down, keeping me stuck, numb, terrified, useless. It was because of him. It was because of Esteban. I remember what he told me after I pushed him onto the ground, right before I slammed my fist into his face. Through his teeth, my hand tightly clutching the collar of his shirt, he told me that he'd make sure I would never get adopted. He was furious, and when I punched him, all the hurt, the pain, the tears, the screams, the cries for help from all those years of bullying and beating all seemed to come together at once. I just didn't realize I did exactly what he wanted me to do to prove to them that I was the belligerent kid he had told them I was. That it wasn't Esteban, who was the secretly troublesome kid the local gang had recruited. It was me. I couldn't help it. He deserved it. He really, truly did. But I can't help from thinking that. Maybe if I hadn't punched him that night, if I had just kept my mouth shut and ignored him, if I had just bottled up my emotions like I had been for years, would Zeke and Adelaide still want me? Is it my own fault that I'm still stuck here in this house instead of in Zeke and Adelaide's arms, warm and comfortable instead of cold and abandoned? Maybe I am the boy they think I am, violent, aggressive, immature, stubborn, like a ticking time bomb just waiting to go off. Deep down, I know Esteban told them those lies because he knew I wouldn't deny them. He told them because he knew it would be easy to point the finger at me, to finally see me get what he thought I deserved. To finally see me cry instead of laugh when I came back home. But mama, you know me. You know I would never do that. You know, I would never beat the shit out of anybody. I don't sell drugs. I do what I'm supposed to do. I do it for Zeke, and I do it for Adelaide. Mama, I do it for you. Tell me I'm not who they say I am. Tell me I would never hit anybody. Tell me I would never join a gang. Tell me that I should have been adopted. Tell me that they still love me. Tell me that you still love me, Mama.